when you meditate, it's a gift to yourself and other people as well. You see the ways you're creating a lot of unnecessary suffering for yourself, and you learn how to let them go. No matter how much they may seem to be part of your identity, you learn to look at your mind as a committee and realize there's lots of different identities in there, and some of them are things you picked up from unskillful habits that you developed a long time ago. And it's good to be able to stop and sort things out as to which members of the committee you want to con continue coming to the meeting and which ones you want to have sit outside. This is what the teaching on not self is all about, realizing that not every voice in your mind has to be your voice. You have the choice. That's why things are a lot clearer inside. And you go through life creating a lot less suffering. But it's not only less suffering for you, it's less suffering for the people around you. You have less greed, aversion, and delusion. Your mind is lighter and you're less of a burden on other people. You can't protect them from other people's greed, aversion, and delusion, but you can protect them from yours, because you're right here at the source. And you have the choice to make the difference, right here. So as the Buddha said, just as a mother would protect her only child in the same way you protect your goodwill for yourself and you protect your goodwill for other people. Regardless of what they may do, you maintain goodwill for them. This too is a gift. So as we're meditating, it's not an obligation we're taking on, but we realize that this is a good thing to do. It's good for you, it's good for the world around you. And try to train your mind as much as you can. <clears throat> 